Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. I have a repair video for you today. Today we'll be looking at this banjo that I picked up not that long ago. And I was checking it out one day and it looked like the string had popped because it was loose. But what had happened was the fifth string tuner had popped loose. Uh, these things are only held in place by friction. And uh, apparently the wood must have contracted as it continued to dry or a change in humidity, whatever, and it just came loose. So I contacted the manufacturers and they sent me a video on how to uh, re uh, reattach it. I've actually looked this up online to see other ways to do this. Some folks suggest that you just glue it in there with super glue, but I don't like things that you can't take back out. Other folks have said just put some wood glue and, and tap it in. Um, other folks have said put like some shims of like paper in there. Uh, the manufacturer suggested I use uh, this sort of plumber's tape and a little glue to put it in place. So I'll try it their way and we'll see how that goes. So let's check it out. So these are the things I'm going to need to go ahead and accomplish reseeding this tuner. The first thing I have here is this um, uh, a plumber's like sealing tape. I have uh, just some simple white glue. Uh, the manufacturers actually suggested using latex glue. I don't have that, so I'll use this. And I have a rubber mallet to help tap this in place. Again, the rubber mallet yields and so it's less apt to damage the tuner as I tap it in. So the first thing is just take this tuner here and wrap it with the, uh, with the plumber's tape. So let's go ahead and uh, try that now. Okay, I put a cup. I uh, put a few wraps around that now, and just pull off this stray piece of material. And let me check this to see how this seats. Okay, that. That looks like that may be seating a little more firmly. And I should say that when you uh, tap this in, you don't want to have this tuner perpendicular to the um, angle of the fretboard. You want to have it canted slightly so that you have a bit of a, uh, a break angle coming off of that nut for the, the fifth string. So I've got a few wraps of that on there. But let me go ahead and get the glue and put some in. All right, the point of this is to not really um, try to actually glue this in snugly, but rather just put a few little drops of glue here just to kind of hold it in place. And I'm going to go ahead and seat this, and then I'm going to let it set for a while to let it uh, uh, fully dry before I try to come back and uh, string it up. So again, I'm gonna start by just sort of putting this perpendicular, and then I'm gonna just sort of rotate that a bit to get the break angle that I want, which should be about like that. And then I'll just take my rubber mallet here, and supporting the neck, I'll give it a few wraps here. Okay, I've given that a number of wraps, and it seems to be fairly snug in there. What you don't want to do is hit this thing so hard that you end up cracking the neck. So basically it's just to seat it, and hopefully those three uh, drops of uh, the white glue will just help to hold that in place. So again, I'll let that dry, and then I'll come back and uh, string it up. After letting this sit for a few minutes, I went and tested it and found that this thing, it just moved really easily. So I figured a string tension would probably make that move easily as well. So I went ahead and pulled it out and I put, added a few more wraps of uh, this uh, tape to it to hopefully it will give it a snugger fit. 
So now I'll go ahead and uh, put some glue in there again. But this time I think I'm going to put the glue right here on this. Make sure I get some of this in the hole. There we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna press that and rotate that. There we go. And seat that in place. All right, and we'll try to tap this in place again. Okay, so I can't turn that with just some little hand tension there. Let's double check that. Yeah. A couple more for good measure. All right, so I'll go ahead and leave that sit, and then we'll come back and, uh, and uh, string it up once it's dry. As you can see, I have now uh, strung this instrument back up in the G string is holding. So again, uh, what I did was, uh, I uh, after I glued this, I let it set up actually for a few days. It's a few days later now, and I want to make sure that, that glue is fully cured before I put tension under this, because this uh, peg is held in essentially really with friction more than anything, and uh, the forces uh, applied by the string are inclined to make that want to turn. So I want to make sure it was fully set up. But there you go, so that's a pretty straightforward way. If you do have a tuning peg that does come loose, uh, there's more than one way to do it. I did try it the way that the, the manufacturer suggested and it's worked and holding. So I hope you found today's uh, video helpful in case you have this issue. Thanks for watching.